Meow's layer states lets you organize your layers into multiple setups, called layer states, within the same scene, using a simple tab-based interface. The UI of layer states can be used as a floating panel or dock to the Active Explorer. To dock the UI to the Active Explorer, use the Dock to Active Explorer menu item. When you resize the scene or layer explorer, the layer state's UI will resize accordingly. To create a layer state, right-click in the UI and select Add. Enter a name for the layer state, then click the OK button. A new tab will be created for your layer state. Each layer state stores all layers with their properties and objects at the moment it is created or saved. I'm going to create a few more layer states. When you create a new layer state or switch between layer states, the layer structure and properties of the currently active layer state are saved. For this reason, it's important to create the new layer state before making changes to the layer properties or structure. Always create the layer state first, then make any changes to layer properties or structure. You can save layer state at any time using the floppy disk icon, the save command in the right click menu, clicking the active layer state tab with the middle mouse button. When you switch to another layer state, the layer structure and properties of the currently active layer state are saved, and then the new layer state is loaded. The meow layer states underscore temp underscore layer is a layer where all objects that do not belong to any existing layer in the currently active layer state are stored. Do not delete or rename this layer. When some tabs are not visible, you can scroll them left or right using the hand of buttons on the right side of the UI. You can also use the mouse wheel to scroll. When you click the currently active tab, a message will appear asking whether you want to restore the last saved layer structure. If you click the yes button, your current layer structure and properties will be overwritten. You can use this option if you want to undo all changes made to your layers. You can rename and delete any layer state. The tabs can be rearranged using the move left right menu command. For better visual appearance, each tab can have a different background and text color. In the Settings panel, you can set the UI background color, the background and text color of the active tab, layer state, and the width of the UI. The On Startup Load the last active layer state option is self-explanatory. When enabled, Meow's layer states will try to load the last active layer state of the currently open scene upon startup. This might lead to a situation where your current layer structure is overwritten, for example, if you have been working on the scene for the past few hours without using layer states. To restore the layer structure to its state when layer states was started, use the Restore Startup Layer Structure menu item. Sometimes 3DS Max does not properly update its viewports when switching between layer states. The Force Viewport Refresh on Tab Switch option will refresh the viewports, but keep in mind that for large scenes with tens of thousands of objects and thousands of layers, this process may take some time. There is a Redraw Viewport menu item that performs the same function but on demand. Turn on the Use the Default 3DS Max Progress Bar option if you feel the progress bar at the top of the layer state's UI is not sufficient.